It's a new range, new type of SUV. And uh, we'll tell you in this video if BMW is doing a great job. It's a stunning vehicle to look at. I do see them in a lot of grays, blacks. I like to see them in some bright colors like red or blue. I haven't seen those on the road yet, but I'm sure they'll have some of those for the press cars. So we can look at the engine, but let's take a look at the back seat. So I'm six feet tall. So this is my driving position. You got this beautiful red interior. And oh yeah, wow, in the back seat, you have a lot of room here. So this could probably be, it looks like a true five-seater, as long as the uh, person in the middle is a toddler or preteen. Wow, so you even have pillows back here. Let's get back here. Oh yeah, plenty of room. Sitting behind myself, I almost have, I have a seven series type leg room here. You have the optional Bowers and Wilkins stereo, which is well worth the $3,400. The sticker on this is in the 150s. Oh, this, they left me, thanks BMW. And uh, so let's see, 159 is the base price. Secure orange, black leather, $1,500 option, well worth it, it's gorgeous. Even if you pick black or something, it's still gorgeous how the leather looks. And uh, 3400 for the sound system, well worth it. 995 for destination, and then 2500 for the M driver's package. And you're at 167, 395 altogether beautiful car all right so let's look at the engine you got speakers all over the place here so we're gonna do the engine just like you did it on my m2 real easy you do this twice but there is no secondary latch now this is hidden your gas you need to get gas with this car it's hidden over there and uh, like almost all BMWs it's on the right side So now there's no secondary latch, so this should just come right up. And there is your twin turbo V8 engine. 644 horsepower. A lot of cooling for that engine. And it looks like they put it back. Good, good job. So here's the front axle. They put as much as the engine is humanly possible behind it. It's certainly not front mid-engine, but it's not an Audi where the engine would be all the way up here. All right, so now let's take a look at the inside. Actually, I lied. Before we take a look at the inside, let's see how big the trunk is. You have the backup camera that's actually coming up with the trunk right now. And you have a decent amount here. I'm sure this parcel shelf goes away. You do have a decent amount of uh, cargo capacity here, although the roof line's a little lower. And here's your charger. So you can get some range just on electric. All right, so we're on the inside of the car now. So we have the start button, just like you would say on an M5. That sounded pretty cool. So it shows it's a true five passenger. There's only one of us sitting there, so I'm green, the rest are red. Now we have HVAC controls here. I'm gonna lower it just so I could talk to you. And we could go through the media buttons here. You could hook up your phone, YouTube, satellite radio. You have uh, a good navigation here. Now we have cameras. Uh, this looks like we have a 360 camera here. And we can do a camera, be that's the front camera. We can put it in uh, reverse and we got a backup camera. Also 360 above us. We have an assist view so we can see different parts of the car. Panoramic view, that's for the rear. Then we could do a parking view so we can go on the cameras just like my M340 has. We wanna see line up on the lines. We wanna see who's next to us. Maybe there's a shopping cart or something or another car too close. And let's see, we could do we can drive in M hybrid, that should be cool. We can do an M mode here, and we could drive in sport. It's a touch screen. Let's see with the M hybrid mode. We can drive hybrid, electric, or e-control. Let's drive, uh, we'll try the hybrid, why not? So everything here is familiar. I've never gotten used to these gauges here. Uh, we can go back and forth, so we tip it to the right. It was drive, now it's manual, now we tip it again, and it is drive. All right. So let's take it for a spin. We're gonna take it out on the highway and then some back roads. All right, so we're gonna drive it in sport mode now. And we're gonna slow down, make a U-turn here on the highway. Who thought a good U-turn should be on the left lane of a highway? All right, so we're gonna turn around. Then we're gonna accelerate on the highway. I'm gonna take you some real cool back roads. See if this heavier SUV could do it. Beautiful interior though. This $1,500 for the optional interior is what I had in my M340. And this actually looks even fancier worth every penny. Bowers and Wilkins, I was testing it out, $3,400 worth every penny. All right, here we go. Wow, 
Now here we use the whole, according to this meter here, the whole 644 horsepower, 590 foot pounds of torque. It's got a heads up display that's not too bright, but it's big. It almost reminds me of, uh, actually it's very similar to what was in the 760. Every car should have a heads up display in my opinion. My 2002 Corvette Z06 had a heads up display. So certainly 21 years later, all these $160,000 cars can have it, right? I don't know why people go so slow. Well, depending which way these cars goes, will depend if we take the highway back to give this to BMW or the back roads. If he goes left, we're gonna make a pass. He did. All right, so here's the passing power. Now, definitely an X3M or an X5M or more raw. All right, so we we'll just have the brakes here. You could make these regen even more. They do pull you down pretty quickly. Great acceleration, fantastic acceleration. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll take these this car up to some back roads, maybe do another highway acceleration, and we'll see how she handles the twisties. Good brakes, plenty of performance. You do have a commanding view of the road. It accelerates very fast. test the weight now here in this uh, driving position. All right, now we're gonna come up to some turns here and the MX3M actually did really well on these turns when we drove the press car here last year. So let's see how the XM does. When you see that sign for twisties, that's good news. We're not gonna take them at 30 miles an hour, that's for sure. Yeah, you do, you definitely feel the weight. It's it's not the best in the turns, but of course, who expected it to be? But overall, it's a really nice SUV. It's got a ton of power. It's got a ton of room. It fits five or at least four and a half people. Luggage is a little compromised with the back headroom there, but otherwise it is a great SUV and you have hybrid to help your power and gas mileage and you still get that twin turbo V8. Fantastic. Thank you so much for being to BMW for giving me this press car. Like and subscribe, guys, and we'll get a lot more press cars. So like, subscribe, share. You know car enthusiast friends. Make sure they all subscribe, and we'll have these press cars in no time. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.